Hi everybody, this is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have a layout that I made using the October My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. In the October kit, we received a collection from 49 in Market called Art Options Alina, and it has the most beautiful combination of teal and pink and coral. For this layout, I'm using a composition with four triangles. I cut two triangles out of the pink pattern paper, and then I layered those on top of that really pretty blue floral paper. I'm placing my photo in the middle where all of those triangles come together, and I'm using one of the gorgeous laser cut or die cut frames that we got in the October kit, and I'm also using a really large floral die cut, and I'll bring those back onto the page in a little while. First, I'm going to trace around the outside of the pink triangles. I'm going to cut the blue paper out from behind it. Initially, I was thinking that I wanted to cut the images on the page out and have them overlap the pink triangles. So in other words, those leaves that are on the pencil line, I would fussy cut around the outside of those and then you would still be able to see the whole leaf. It would overlap onto the pink paper. I ended up scrapping that idea. I didn't like the way the leaves looked overlapping the pink paper, but you don't know until you try. So I started off with that idea and then later on I just made some adjustments and made it more of a clean line between the four triangles. I decided that I wanted to give some emphasis to the lines in between the triangles or to the lines that the triangles make where they meet each other. And so I decided to put some white cardstock strips behind the two inner edges of both of those pink triangles. This is another element on the layout that's going to change in a little bit. Right now I'm trying to be careful to make the borders the same width on all four of the edges that I place them on. My plan is to tuck those triangles behind those leaves that are on the blue piece of paper and I have to say it was a little trickier to do than I thought it would be. I want to anchor everything to a 12 by 12 inch piece of paper so I'm using this old piece of pattern paper in my stash that I know that I won't use and I'm attaching the blue paper down then I place the pink triangles on top of the blue paper but underneath those leaves and flowers that I had cut out. Because I have that thin white border all around the layout outlining those triangles, I thought that it made sense to have a white border around the outside of the frame that has my photo. I think it makes the layout look cohesive and I think that the white border is kind of eye-catching on this particular layout. So I wanna make sure that I have an eye-catching element on my photo as well, since that's the focal point of the layout. To give the photo a little bit of dimension, I put some fun foam behind it. I like to pop up my photo when I know I'm going to be using dimensional flowers on the layout, which I plan to do in a little bit. At this point, I decided that I didn't want those cut out pieces of the blue paper to overlap the pink paper. I didn't want to have that white border along the pink paper. I'm going to replace it with another border. First, I'm using some Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet, and I'm inking the edges of the pink paper. And then I used an American Crafts Knockout Border Punch to punch out this scalloped border. There's something really simple and really pretty about this punch, I think. You can see that the back of the paper is kind of a mess, and there are some papers I wouldn't even attempt to do this with. The 49 and Market papers are extremely thick, so they can take some of this wear and tear that I'm putting these papers through. But when I was done, I feel like I made the right decision. I like that border better, and I also like that clean look of having the pink paper just simply overlap the blue paper. Once again, I attached both of those triangles down to the layout, and then I used my scissors and I cut off the extra border strips that were on either side. Then I put that large floral die cut back on top of the photo, and now I'm adding a little frame to the layout. Before I do that though, I'm going to back the frame with a little bit of pink paper. I'm using that same pink paper that I used for the pink triangles. And I tried it out in a couple of different places and it ends up underneath the photo. I'm going to add a little bit more to that cluster a little bit later on. I wanted to add another little detail to the frame. So I took these blue striped pieces of pattern paper 
and I ink the edges with some Uncharted Mariner Distress Oxide and I'm going to put those going along the inside of the frame. So far, everything on this layout, other than the small frame that's under the photo, is kind of large in scale. So I was thinking that these thin strips with the small striped print on them would add a nice little detail to the layout. You could see here that I'm using my pencil to mark where I need to cut. I'm just using some very simple measuring techniques here. The top two strips, I just leave them with the square corners. And then for the two side strips, I cut the corners on 45 degree angles. And that creates the effect of a little mini frame within the frame. I end up putting some pearls on all four corners of that little mini frame. But if I decided not to do that, they would still look nice because of those finished corners that are cut on angles. In the little frame underneath the photo, I placed a small green butterfly. And then underneath that, I have four sentiments in four different colors. They say, this day, stay close, everything, and treasured. And I don't mind having general statements or sentiments on my layouts, but I don't like to have anything on the layout that does not go with the photo. I want there to be some relevance to the sentiments. So I thought that these were the four that matched best with this particular layout. So I added some foam to the back of them and then I used some ATG adhesive to attach them down. And I always like to mention that ATG adhesive doesn't hold things with foam on them to your layout indefinitely. So it's a good idea to go in with some wet glue once you're sure that you like where everything is positioned on the page. There were some beautiful laser cuts in this 49 and Market collection. And I love the way that these look tucked into that big floral die cut at the top of the page. I also tucked some in among the sentiments at the bottom. I wanted to add a few more butterflies to the page. So I put one orange one next to the sentiments and then I put a green one toward the top of the page. And then I put a small flower in that bottom cluster too. I'm going to add some tags on both sides of the frame because there's a lot of embellishments that go up above the photo and then go down below the photo. I wanted to balance those out with some embellishments on either side of the photo. So I'm using tags in different colors. There's a blue tag, uh, a beige tag, a tan tag, and a pink tag. So I have two of the tags positioned on the top on the right and then toward the bottom of the photo on the left. I put those in place and then I began adding some foam to the backs of the butterflies to give them a little bit of dimension. I put some foam on their wings and then I add some adhesive to the foam and to the center of the butterfly, press down the center and that causes the wings to pop up a little bit. And that's something that I do on almost every layout that I use butterflies on and I use butterflies on a good portion of my layouts. Here I'm inking the edges of this green butterfly with some ink. Whatever ink was on that dauber, that's what I used to ink the edges. And then I did the same thing with the orange butterfly. The ink is very light, but I'll do that sometimes. I'll just use a dauber and whatever ink happens to be on there, we'll just add a little touch of ink to whatever I'm inking the edges of. I do the same thing to that small flower that's in that cluster. I ink the edges with the dauber and then I move it down just to kind of balance out that cluster a little bit. Just like the sentiments and the butterfly in that cluster, I popped up that flower on a little bit of foam too. Now I'm adding some of the dimensional flowers to the layout. I chose a large blue flower. I love that color blue. And then some tiny pinkish peach flowers. And I'm using ATG adhesive to attach them down. That is definitely a temporary adhesive. I just wanted to make sure that I like the flowers where I'm placing them. And then later on, I have to go back and attach those down permanently. ATG adhesive will only hold those in place for a very short time. I added two very tiny die cut leaves to the bottom cluster just to fill that spot out a little bit or fill it in a little bit. I added two more flowers like the flower in the bottom cluster to the layout. One I placed on the tags on the right and then the other one I placed in the large cluster on the left. And now I'm adding some bows to these tags. I often add string, but I thought in this case, some bows would look pretty. So I had some 
bows that were in my stash. I purchased them in the sewing notions portion of the craft store. I find that these bows come in really handy. They're a great size and I love having them on hand, especially in white. I wanted to add another butterfly to the left hand side of the layout. So once again, I popped up the wings on some foam and then I placed it on the left next to those bows. Now I'm using some Finabare heavy gesso and an old bristle brush and I'm dabbing some of that gesso on the edges of each of the flowers. I just love the look that highlighting the edges of the petals gives to the flowers. And I have regular gesso and I have heavy gesso because I do a lot of mixed media, but if you just have regular gesso or if you wanted to use a little bit of white paint, that would work fine as well. The nice thing about gesso is that it dries very, very quickly. And then you can tell if you wanna add another coat of the gesso or not. I usually just add one coat, but every once in a while, depending on the color of the flowers, I have to add a second coat. I wanted to mention that I used some fun foam behind the flowers to pop them up a little bit. Because they're sitting on top of that frame, they needed a little more height to sit on there without being slanted. I'm using some glossy accents and some very tiny pearls that don't have holes in them, and I'm adding those to the flowers. For the large flower, I'm using some blue and some white pearls, and for the tiny pinkish flowers, very small three millimeter white pearls. The glossy accents is perfect for attaching those down to the flower so they don't come off later. Then I added some more pearls. The other pearls that I added are half pearls. I added some teal ones to the large frame. For that tiny frame at the bottom of the larger frame, I used four different colors of pearls. And then I added some white pearls to the centers of the butterflies. I always like the way that looks. I think that's a nice little touch. To add a detail to the bows on the tags, I added some pearl embellishments that I have in my stash that I've collected over the years. And I thought that that added a nice little touch without adding any additional color to those white bows. And then I decided that I was going to add a few pearls to each of the sentiments. The only sentiment I did not add pearls to is the one that says stay close because that is an orangish color and I didn't have just the right color for that one. I added pearls to the rest and I matched the color to the color of the paper. I love the way those teal pearls looked on that large frame, so I decided that I would add even more pearls to the frame. I have the pearls going from largest to smallest, starting closest to the photo, and then getting smaller going away from the photo. And I'm using pearls from all different manufacturers. The teal ones are from Queen and Company. Earlier, I was testing these die cuts out, or one of them anyway, to see if I liked the way they looked on the layout, and I decided that I did want to add some of them. I apologize that I do not know the manufacturer of these dies. I've been using them for years. I think I got them on eBay a long time ago, but there are a lot of similar dies. They are berry dies. I love using these on the layouts. I love the way they're really fine and they add a nice little small detail to my pages. Even though I think these are meant to be berries, I think when you cut them out of white, to me anyway, they look like they're little branches with buds on them. The photo that I'm scrapbooking today is of both of my daughters. I took this photo when we were visiting the New York Botanical Gardens and we were in the section of the gardens that has all the roses. Julia was standing in this beautiful metal gazebo and Danielle photobombed the picture. We took so many photos that day and I thought this one was just kind of a funny one. So I wanted to include it in this album and I've made a whole album out of the pictures we took this day. I glued down all of those die cut branches and then I was thinking that I would add this little sentiment beauty to the top of the page. This will serve as the title. That was the last touch and here are some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend watching a video on my channel. This was one of a number of videos that I've made recently in which I took footage from an older layout and I edited it and voiced it over and I'm really happy to get these videos up on my channel. If you're watching them, I hope that you're enjoying them and I will have some videos with some newer layouts coming up this week.
in the description box, you'll find the link to the My Creative Scrapbook website. You could check out all of their gorgeous kits and purchase a subscription there. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <music>